right the correlation values are you can notice here values are possible from minus 1 to plus 1 only the values are possible minus 1 to plus 1 the values are possible there are two key components of a correlation values one is called as magnitude the larger the magnitude that is closer to 1 or closer to minus 1 the stronger the correlation here sign indicates here sign indicates here if negative there is an inverse correlation that means one increases other one will be decreases if positive there is a positive correlation that means one increases other also will be increasing the same uh, phenomena it will be increasing it now more information you also can go and you can read from the external websites we have here click on this read it option then it will take you to the uh, some website there it is explained uh, very well it is explained even in the offline you can go and you can read it i am more interested about the formula i am more interested actually this is what the formula how we are going to calculate the correlation here xi is nothing but one column value it's kind of i can say a car weight column i am taking let's say thousand cars i taken okay each car weight is nothing but xi x bar is nothing but mean of the this thousand cars is nothing but x bar y is nothing but the mileage each car what is the mileage is nothing but yi we have, yi has thousand values y bar is nothing but the mileage uh, mean we are going to take here same things we are going to take here squares and we are going to sum it we are applying the rule if you do this all mathematical calculation whatever we are going to get here or that is what we are saying as correlation value correlation value is it clear this mathematical formula if i given the pen paper then and i given some kind of records two columns weight of the car mileage of the car for 100 row 100 cars by given will you be able to do this formula and able to get the r value or not yes so that's what what i want to do here now we know how to calculate the r value then how to uh, what is the meaning of the result what you got it basically now we are trying to see as positive correlation 0 to 1 we are trying to say input numpy as np and we are trying to generate randomly 0 to 50 and we are generating 1000 values we are generating between 0 and 50 and y values we are trying to generate using some kind of x plus again we are generating 0 to 10 1000 values are generating and we are adding to this x now i have two variables called as x and y two variables are available now to calculate the correlation coefficient we have here x comma y and we are seeing as this is something matrix is something like this this matrix is something like this it is going to write here matrix is first com component whatever available x here then y here then x here and y here x to x if i am trying to compare no doubt always we are going to get one only always we are going to get what one only because the intersection point whatever available is comparing x and x only are comparing so this is one we always are going to get here one only we are going to get it. similarly y also if you go and try to compare this one always we are going to get here also one only so these two things are not interested by you and this is nothing but comparison of x and y this is we are interested this is nothing but comparison of x and y this is what we are interested of course both are x to y you are comparing or y to x you are comparing it's both are one and same that's the reason if this value whatever available that is important to me 0 0.81 0 0.81 means it is near to plus one or near to minus one 0 0.81 means it is near to plus one or near to minus one near to plus one, near to plus one. that means there is a positive correlation that means if x value is increasing y also increases x value is decreasing then y also decreases then y also decreases that kind of that kind of information we got from this number 0 
same thing i want to see visualization wise i want to see it now if you want to see same thing visualization wise we are taking x on the x axis y on the y axis and we are trying to draw the graph here if you take randomly certain points if you go and try to take and we observe here then we'll be able to notice it for example this point i am taking it what is the meaning of this point here x value we have around something 15 and y value we have around something uh, minus uh, 20 something like that the x value is increasing uh, from year to year let's take this point let us say x value is what happened here increased x value what happened here increased y also increased but how much increased is something uh, comparatively maybe less but it is increased because 0 0.8 means 80 percentage it is going to increase it so what I'm trying to say is if X value is increasing, then Y also increasing, uh, Y is increasing, then X also increasing, X is decreasing, then Y also decreasing. Something both are going the same direction it is going. If it is going the same direction, that's what we are saying as positive correlation we are going to say it about. Is it clear about the positive correlation? Yes, sir. Right. For the people who are, uh, more interested about our own data set then i have one data set we also calculate manually we'll calculate and also we'll test this uh, function how it is working we'll test it as x is now let me go for i have one data set that is known as uh, auto mpz data set i am trying to read the data set read csv file that is known as i think uh, data then R2 MPZ data set. I think it is not copied to the that location. Let me copy the R2 MPZ data set. Yeah, this is the data set what I have. I am trying to copy into the data folder. Now we can notice in R2 MPZ data set, this is what the data what I have it with me. In this, I am interested about two variables. Majorly, I am interested. One is known as MPZ column, second is known as weight column. I think everyone aware of it, weight of the car increases, mileage will be decreased or increases. Both are opposite, right? It will be decreases. It will be decreases. So that kind of relation, these are now natively correlated or positively correlated. If I calculate the farm, uh, these two variables, if I take into the Excel, or uh, somewhere, if I calculate the implement this formula, whatever available, the R value we are going to get negative or positive? Negative or positive? Negative. Negative. Let us go and try to implement the same formula. We'll try to implement it. I have to implement here the formula by observing Xi minus X bar. X bar is nothing but mean value. I can calculate here mean very easily. I can calculate. I have here DF. Then I am taking a weight column I am taking. For this, I want to calculate the mean. I have to calculate it. NP of mean of this one I am calculating. And I am trying to say as it is weight mean, I am saying it. It's a weight mean we are trying to say it. And also I need the package that is known as NumPy as NP package. So I am trying to take here NumPy uh, package. We are trying to take it. Now, also I need here one more column that is known as uh, MPZ column I required. So MPZ column mean also I am trying to take here. So it is MPZ mean. So this is column is called as MPZ. We are trying to take it. Now, if I go and try to execute it, I got here two means. I got it. Weight mean is this one and MPZ mean is this one. I got it. I want to do here the formula by observing. We have to subtract each one. We have to subtract it. The result we have to sum up, right? So we are trying to say as NP dot sum of each value of the each value of the weight whatever available minus whatever we have the weight mean we are trying to do it here. That we are trying to multiply with we have here NP of sum again and we are trying to uh, take here the column which is known as MPZ minus mpz mean we are trying to take it i think this is what what we have the numerator entirely this is called as numerator right yes. now we are able to see the numerator is equal to minus zero excellent something wrong df wait what he got it 
it is zero. Why? What does the weight mean? Two nine seven seven. Df dot weight. Oh, minus four three. <clears throat> there may be some null values might be available. I'm thinking. Let me see it. What values we have here? Three ninety two values are there. Why it is doing the sum means subtract? Okay, very small value we are getting. It looks like e power minus 11. E power minus 11 is coming as a something zero. We are getting it. Okay, are you getting my point? E power minus 11 actually we are getting. E power minus 11 it is rounding and is giving to you zero. It is giving to you. That's what. That's how it is working. And that we are multiplying with this one that also may be giving as uh, some kind of negative values. I mean, small values is giving. It is rounding and it is giving the negative. Anyhow, we are also expecting same kind of result, in fact, because we know this is natively correlated, right? Natively correlated and it's coming to close to what? Zero. Coming close to what? Zero. That means it is natively correlated and it is coming close to the, uh, I think we have to divide with some other number also there. What I can do, what I can do, what I can do. Let me take this Excel there I can explain better way. Okay, uh, so that it rounding issues will not happen. Let me take the Excel. Now I am in the Excel now. Let us go and try to see this, how we can achieve it. I am interested about the two columns. This is the one column I am interested. Okay, let me take separately into the Excel what I needed. This is the one column I am needed. Then second column I needed is this is the column I needed. This one I am taking here. Okay, now I need to apply here whatever I have here. Mean mean value, I need to calculate it. Let us go and try to calculate the mean of this entire column, whatever we have it. I have the cars of, I think, around 300 plus cars data is available. I want the mean of this one I want it. So we are trying to take care is equal to then average of the values from year two. We are trying to take care here. We are trying to take it. Then we are trying to say yes. Then the average value is equal to 23 point something. We got it. Same thing we are scrolling. Here we got 2977 something. We got it. Now the cell number is 394. Okay, I remembered that number. Now what I want to do is I need to subtract each one. I have to subtract because we have to do xi minus x mean. We have to do it. That is nothing but x mean in our case. Here let us take as MPZ. Now we are trying to take here each value, whatever we have it, this minus and whatever we have in the bottom 394 cell somewhere, that value we have to take it. And this value is fixed value throughout this. So I can go and I can take that as a fixed value. Similarly, we have to go for here uh, the yi. In our case, we are trying to take as yi means weight we are trying to take it then we are saying as y mean we are trying to take it that is equal to again uh, whatever we have i think you can scroll it we can go on you can scroll this one we are trying to scroll it b394 we are able to see it okay now let us go and try to scroll this to the down and before scrolling even we can go on you can multiply these two things Whatever value we have it that divide uh, that multiplied with this value. So this one what we are trying to do it. So this is totally our numerator value what we are trying to get it. Now whatever I have it this one I am trying to scroll down. So this is sorry sorry sorry. 
so this is what we are trying to scroll down and i'm able to get these other values so what is the total value of this numerator is equal to now is is equal to we can say as sum of these all values whatever we have it so we are trying to take care this total value that is what the sum we are trying to take it that gives you some value it is given something minus 215731 and this is the correct way of doing it now <coughs> denominator if you go and try to observe the formula of the denominator we have to do the square of each one then we have to multiply it sum it then we have to multiply then you have to apply the square root i have already xi minus x bar is available then we have to take the square of that number we have to take it okay let us try to do here this xi minus x bar whatever available that's a square we are trying to do here let us go and try to do this square we have to do it entirely so to do this one we are going for this value whatever available that power we are trying to take as power of this value by 2 we are trying to calculate it okay then we are able to see some 29.65 we got it same job we are doing for this also we are trying to take here power of this value uh, comma 2 then we are able to see this value these two things uh, once we got it once we got it as part of the formula we got the squares we got it then we have to sum it once we got the sum then we have to multiply and apply the square root okay let us go and try to do these two things first till ending we'll try to do it so i am trying to scroll down let me do the scroll down so i am doing a scroll down so i am doing a scroll down yeah so this is what i did the scroll down now i need to do here sum i have to do it so is equal to i am doing here sum of from this number 2 we want to go for uh, this number then enter same job we have to do for this also then we did the both the sums we did it these two sums whatever available we supposed to do the multiplication we supposed to do it, and we have to apply the root so we are trying to apply here is equal to square root of whatever we have it and this two multiplication we have to do it so i can say this multiplied with this we are trying to do it both we are multiplying and we are saying this as a denominator this is equal to what denominator now i want here final value the final value is equal to r is equal to we are going to say as whatever we have the numerator divide with whatever we have the denominator then if you do it we got here minus 0.83 this is what the uh, value we got it is it near to plus 1 or near to minus 1 is it near to plus 1 or near to minus 1 minus 1 it is near to minus 1 so we can say now weight and mpz are both are, are natively correlated natively correlated that means one is increases other one will be decreases if you want you can go on you can see practically you can apply that function you can apply uh, let me go and try to apply the function directly this all story is not needed as you understand it in the excel level we understand that one then i am going here we have one of the function that is called as correlation uh, coefficient function we have it and the name of the function correlation coefficient uh, function we have it i am trying to take care the column name that is called as np dot weight comma then we are trying to take care df dot mpz column then we are trying to see it whatever value we are getting here that value exactly matching with what value we got here right so there is already function is available correlation coefficient directly that is going to that is implemented using this formula that is implemented using this formula now we know now what you mean by negative correlation and what you mean by positive correlation we are aware of it i think we saw the positive correlation we generated our own data and we are able to see scatter graph we are able to see it and this is what the negative correlation we are getting the negative numbering we are getting something like minus 0.94 that is called as negative correlation that if you want to implement in excel level you can go ahead and you can implement it 
in fact as you came with word called as correlation i want to go back to the one more point here one more point here <coughs> If I take uh, the numerator whatever available, the numerator whatever available, let me, do you have any questions here? No, okay, okay, let me go back. Uh, let's take here. See this uh, formula once, uh, covariancy formula. Covariancy formula is almost numerically same as correlation actually. This also useful to understand the relation between two variables. However, problem is big number we got it, uh, the relation is very, uh, very good relation I can say it. But a yeah, question is what do you mean by big number? Is it nine is good number or 99 is good number or 9999 is good number? That's where the problem we used to face with the covariancy formula. That is the reason people we are not using covariancy, we are trusting the correlation because the range of values are fixed. Minus one, two, plus one. If it is near to minus one, then we are saying as natively strongly correlated. If it is plus one, then we are saying as uh, strongly positively correlated, something like that. So initially people will come up with the covariancy, then covariance has certain disadvantages. We have the no, we have no definition for big number. We have no definition for small number. That is the reason people come up with the next level that is known as correlation. Covariancy, if you see the units also, we have it. Xi as one unit, Ya as one unit. These two units together will be units of the covariancy. But in case of correlation, there is no units because numerator, whatever Xi, Ya as units, denominator also we have Xi and Ya. That units, these units are cancelled each other and it's a unitless number, it's a unitless number. So that's what we need to explore more about the covariancy and correlation, how to calculate that one mathematical formulas, how to calculate in the Excel sheet level, and how to use in the scatter graph as well as correlation coefficient level we need to understand. Please look into that.